Hey folks, Brooksy. Well, we're here and I've just started fishing. We're not mosting today. Uh, I've got my mic set up. I hope you can hear me. I'll test it in a minute. Uh, baits today. I've just put lug and squid out on a two hook flapper. Uh, I'm going to set the other one up in a minute. I ain't going to fish flappers today. Two hook flappers on both. Uh, one's got tamers, two hoes, and the other's got Koiki circles, two hoes. Um, and hopefully we'll do summer because I'm going to put lug and crab on the next one, I think. And then we'll take it from there. We're holding bottom. It's nice and calm, as I'll show you. Pete's over there. See you, Marty, Pete. There you go. Pete's there and he's got his rod set up. Um, we're going to do, see what we can do. If we don't catch, we don't catch. The thing is, we're out, Pete, aren't we? We're going in and we're going to enjoy it, man. Either way, we, all we can do is try. And we'll see what happens. Uh, the wind's from behind us, so it's keeping it nice and flat, isn't it? You know? It's lovely and calm. Weather's mild and all, isn't it, Pete? It's not cold. Like, I'm not cold today. Yes, last week I was freezing. Today, I've only got my hoodie on. And uh, it's, it's warm, like. So we're not going to be doing too bad, I don't think. We'll just see what happens. See if Mr. Raymond wants to play or Mr. Place. They got two choices, Pete, and they. <laughs> yeah, I'm think fingers crossed. Any rod. I've just parked cast out. I'll show you. My rods there. One's out. One's getting. I'm going to be setting it up in a minute. I'll set it up in a minute, and then we'll get going. As you can see, ships behind me. They're not mostly. A lot like to fish this corner here, but I like it when I am. I always seem to be not too bad here. I tend to hold me own. So we'll wait and see. See what happens. Uh, water's coming in. It's coming in nice now, isn't it? It's not rushing in, is it? It's it's coming up, coming in. Should start for John now down in Dock Road. He's down there. John Charles, yeah, that's where he is. He's broke bloody down. It looks like his thermostat's gone. It's seized on him. He tried to take the housing off. He's broke two of the bloody nuts on the housing. So he said what he'll do, he'll drive onto the onto the dual carriageway and then he'll phone the RAC and they'll come and tow him home then. He's got 2,500 mile cover, see? They'll fetch a low loader, wouldn't they? Put it on and take him home. Hmm? He was going to come here, yeah, but he can't make it, he said. The car's knackered, the van's knackered. I said... What he was explaining, what he's explaining to me is there's no water leak. He can't see any leak underneath. So I said, well, it's not your fuel, your water pump then, because you'd be spewing water everywhere. He said, when he, uh, the slow pull down then. Did you see it? When he, um, when he opened the bottle, it shot everywhere. I said, that's, that's not your water pump. You got back pressure there. That definitely, it definitely sounds to me like his thermostat's stuck. Or oh, the head gap. Oh, no, he said, he said it was like greasy stuff. I said that'll be your uh, antifreeze, mate, boiling. I said it'd be your antifreeze boiling, that. Nah. I said you'd know if it was your gasket, you'd have oil in the water. It'd be black, wouldn't it? So I said to him, it sounds to me like your thermostat's gone. Like, any road, I hope he gets home all right. No, only the one. Only the one. I'm going to set the other one up now. I was just doing, just letting the folks know that we're here. And we're fishing. And hopefully we'll have something. So I'll bring you back in a bit, folks. Okay? In a bit. Hey, folks. Proxy again. Um, as you can see, Pete is there untangling a tunnel of weed. So... The further you cast, the more weed you're getting. So I'm dropped, I've dropped too short now, and I seem to be okay at the moment. We'll wait and see. Uh, Pete went out to try and get well in the gully, and twice now he's been inundated with a rock of weed and plastic. See by my tripod on the floor there? That's what I got when I cast that far. I've cast it short now, and I seem, touch wood, seem to be 
okay for now. Um, we'll just have to wait and see if it produces. Fingers crossed it does. But there's a hell of a lot of weed coming through. This all the weather, bad weather we've had and all the heavy rain and whatever. It's what's washed up the river. And then, of course, when the tide turns, it washes it back bloody down. And then the tide will turn again and it'll wash it back up. It's going to take about a month to clear this lot. It's made the right bloody mess. And it's that stringy weed. <coughs> and plastic and all. Plastic bags and all. It does my head in, it does, honestly. But there you go. I picked a load of rubbish up where I parked the car this morning because somebody left a KFC bucket, a fruit shoot drink, and a load of paper bags. So I've chucked them in a bin bag that I've got in the car and I'll take it home with me. I hate untidy people. There's no need for it. All you need to do is take the carry bag with you. Why dump it there? You know, we're lucky we can fish here. It carries on, they'll stop it, they'll block the, the entrance, they'll just put a gate across. They did that once before. Stopped us coming on. But they built all this then. But next time they'll do it, they won't open it again. They'll stop you going on. And it'll all be through you lot. Leaving, I think, Pete's. Yes. Are you out? Yeah, he's got out. Look at that weed. Look. Show it up, Pete. Look at that. That's a big, massive mound of weed. That's what we're getting at the moment. I'm all right. Close in, Pete. Try close in, mate. You're going to have to, aren't you? There's too, way too much coming down that channel. Way too much for us to uh, go out there. So I've gone on the mud bank and hopefully it'll produce some I'll keep my ears open. I've got a little nod going on on one of the rods now. On the Tony Kerry's rod. Tony's tackle rod. I've got a little. Well, he's only doing that. It could be weed. We'll soon find out. I said to Pete, we'll give it a go. I'll put this little video up any road to show you that we did come out. And if the weed gets too much, then we'll have to call it a day. You can't fish when the weed's like this. It's pathetic. Time of year, folks, unfortunately, at the moment. But uh, got some good things coming up this year. Three good, tremendous boat trips coming up. We have, and uh, we've got some good shore trips coming up. We're all out for a shore talk this year. We'll get one if it kills me. <laughs> we'll try. So all we can do is try. Uh, I've figured out a, a, a nice little place to go. Uh, it's not a million miles away from where I live. Take me about an hour and a half to get there. But yeah, we're going for talk this year, definitely. We want talk. We want smoothies, obviously. We're going to try for the bass. I want to go to a couple of places. I haven't been for a couple of years, but they were very good bass marks. So we won't give it a bash. Uh, we've got an, another new mark. Me and Trev went to fish it once, and we wasn't in the right spot, but we know now. And, I, I, and obviously, I've got this beach trolley now, so... It cuts out half the work. There's no carrying involved. No carrying at all involved. So that'll be all right. Um, so that'll be for the bass. And the smooths. And the smuts. Uh, all out. I'll be doing uh, perch rock again. I like me perch rock. I like to go for the rays there. Often pick up a nice thorny there. Uh, there's been a couple of spots. He's caught and a blondie out the Mersey, so it looks, it shows you that the Mersey is picking up on, it's fair news to the lads, most of the lads that go fishing there, they do keep it tidy, it's just the odd one or two, but it's, it shows you that the Mersey's cleaned up its act, the amount of fish that are turning there, there's been had a caught there, you know, uh, it's one of them, that it's, it's cleaned up its act like, and it looks good, you know, so, there you go, we'll wait and see what happens. Henry Road, I'll leave you for now, folks, and I'll bring you back in a bit. Hiya, folks, Brooks here again. A uh, bit of interest going on. I've got a bike developing on both rods here. I've had little rattles on on the Tony Courage and on the Abu. I've had a good big bang, but I've left it to see if it develops. If it doesn't, I'll take a look. On the left-hand rod, which is that side, 
I've got lug and crab, uh, squid and crab, sorry. And on the right side, I've got squid and lug. And they're both having bites on them. So, and I haven't cast out too far, so I'm not that far out, to be honest. So hopefully, it'll pay dividends real soon, see. The tide's come up now, it's pushed us off the ledge. So we're on the concrete now. Uh, we'll wait and see how we get on. Plus, at the moment, things look interesting. At least I've had a bite, you know. I've had some interest. More than I did the other day. <laughs> Didn't even have a bite the other day. Last week, when we were at Easter. I still don't forgive that tow driver. There was no need to do what he did. I mean, it, he cocked it up for everyone. Obviously did it on purpose. He's seen all the anglers there. So he obviously did it on purpose, the prat. And I hope you're watching this because you wear a prat. There's no need for it. No need at all. But there you go. I've been having a little tap, 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 tap. Could be crab, could be whiting, could be a little dab, could be anything. The first one I had a good bang on, so that's the first one I'm checking. If the bait's alright, it'll go back out again because I'm not wasting bait. That bite's there, it's still there, it's still developing. It's still there, it's still on. I got a feeling it's on, like, so I don't know which one to check first. But they're still there, they're still having a go. That bite was a good bite, Pete. That one in on that first one. Yeah, it's like a massive battle, yeah, that's what I'm figuring. That's why I'm leaving it alone for now. With flatties, you know yourself, you've got to sit on your hands, haven't you? Yeah. Otherwise, you just pull it away from them. This other one's a little rattle now and again, and then a pull. And that, to me, is another typical fat, flatty bite, like. So, we'll wait and see. In, Where? Close I'm close in, so I'm on the sand, you know. So it's going to be flatties, isn't it, you know? I would imagine so, any road. So we'll wait and see. Right, up the blue, and he's still there around the blue. No, because he's had a pull at that now. So there you go, any road. I'll let you go for now. I'm going to check this right rod in a minute, the Tony Kittage. Because that's been knocking about for a while, that one. Uh, it could be crabs picking up the bait. But then again, it could be a fish. So we've got to wait and see, you know. I'm not that far out, I'm only about 30 yards out. 30, 40 yards maximum. So, wait and see how it goes. It's all you can do, really. So, I'll bring you back in a bit, folks. In a bit. There we go, folks. <laughs> Pete hasn't blanked any, Rudd. There you go, Pete. A little I know it's a white in, but it's a, it's a blank saver. So there you go. We're on near enough top of the tide now. Oh, I would have had that. He won't, I would have had that for bait me. Definitely. You daft ass. Oh, I'd have gone for bait that would have, but never mind. He's chucked it back now. But there you go. Especially with all the whiting around. There's bound to be rays feeding on them, mate. So I've had a bite. I've had loads of bites. I've just not written them. So I've dropped down to size one of now. And we'll take it from there, see what happens. So without further ado, folks. I'll bring you back later. Double header. So don't know whether you can hear it. I'll show you now. One there. One there. There you go. Double white in. So that's my blank gone out the window. Thank God for that. At least we caught fish. I'm not bothered if they're white in. We're out. We're enjoying it, Pete, we? And we're catching fish. That'll do me. Back in a bit, folks. There you go, folks. Hang on a minute. Let me make sure I put my mic on. There you go, folks. Fish to show the sight. I don't care whether they're white in or not. It doesn't bother me. What bothers me is not blanking. We've come out. And we're getting... We're getting fish. Uh, I had a real... I had a proper flatty bite earlier on. No, didn't I? That was, a, that was definitely a flatty. Then I half banged the rod. Didn't I? It was a big one. I tell you what, some of these whites in at a fair size, Pete. They are. But, uh, got baits out there now. That's the main thing.
Yeah, a bit of fun. Uh, lug and crab on the top, uh, mussel and squid in the bottom. Yeah, um, you just sit and wait, be patient now. It's all we can do, really. Hang on, let me heighten this. That's better. That's it. That's better. So, there you go. Yeah, we've been having bites, we've been having a bit of fun. I'm happy. We're out, that's the main thing, Pete, isn't it? I said, we're out, that's the main thing. We're out and about, and we're trying. Pete's going to launch a big bait out there now and see what he can get a, get hold of. Uh, that white tin never made it, lad. That small one. He's here floating about. Ah, oh, well, nature will take care of its own. Won't it? They're so finicky, aren't they, white tin? Do you know what I mean? They're very rare, go back. Very rare. That big one went back, but this little one, he's had it. The old seagull will see that floating about, I dare say. They'll have it for the breakfast after. They know to move in when we've gone. They always do. Oh, he's coming around. He's having a swim about, but he's upside down, Pete. Yeah, well, if he comes around and goes, fine, isn't it? If not, like I said, Mother Nature will take care of it. I'm going to try a good old flatty bait now. Here he is here. You see him on the end of the water. You'll come round in a minute, old lad. Any road, uh, I'll let you go for now. If we have any more, I'll bring you back in a bit, folks. Right, folks, top of the tide. Gone quiet at the moment. We've been having loads of bites. Not been able to hit them. Wondering what they were. I thought flatties, but uh, proved to be whitey. Better than nothing. That's how I look at it. At least we've caught a fish. We've come out. And I'm keeping me no blank run keep going. To be honest, they've been out well half a dozen times now. I caught five times and I've blanked once. So and that was because the skipper of this Oh no I never. I had one waiting last week. Right up to death. Only not big. But it saved the blank. So I'm keeping me wrong going. I haven't blanked yet. Yet. <laughs> There's always one. You'll always get one time you will. No matter what you throw at them. I've gone out a bit further this time. They're starting to move to the left of us now. So we'll wait and see. I've gone a bit further out and see if there's anything out there. There's that white tin down there. Can you see them after it? <laughs> They've picked it up. Bloody seagull had him. I knew he would in the end. Well, that's it. Mother Nature, isn't it? End of the day. But there you go. So the tide's turning now. So it might pick up and it might not. So I've got lug and crab. Oh, oh, there's a bite. There's a bite. I'm having a bite now. Oh, there you are. There's someone having a look. Someone having a look at the lug, lug and the crap. Oh, that was a good one. That was a good knock, huh? He's still there. <laughs> He's still there. I got a feeling that's on. 
Back in a minute, folks. Let me just check. Took him, they took the time home and in on that, Pete. They took the time home and in on that. Yeah. Is that the one you did cast out? No, the other one. It's been out a while, that, like. That's just lug and crab, that. That I've got on this one, yeah. Dude, it's an half bouncer rod and all. Bites in all day long, innit? I don't know. It's one of them, isn't it? It's one of them. We you don't know till you bring it in, do you? It's still there. <laughs> See? Any road? Let him go and have a look, folks. on each one and put them back out.
Let's see what happens there, eh? See what I mean, folks? I don't, uh, I don't cast that far out. You don't need to. A lot of people. A lot of people overcast here. I never do. Good evening. Afternoon and morning. Yeah, a lot of people tend to overcast. It's been a comfortable fishing sesh, this, hasn't it? It's not been overrun with bad weather or... We had a bit of weed when it first started, but we found if we stayed close in, we were okay. Pete's out there now and the weed seems to have died down. Now the tide's turning, it might pick up again, Pete, so you just be careful. Did you? They go right down, did they? Got to let it develop now. Could be a rain, that, like if it took it right down. I've dropped short. What time is it, Pete? Another half an hour. Another half an hour to an hour. As soon as that sand starts showing, I'm packing up, like, because it goes dead, dead. But we'll carry on till then. That's why I don't mind coming here. It's not far to come and I know it's only a short sesh, you know, you never have a... Unless you're going to go to the tanks after and have a full day of it, like, but... I can't today, I'm under orders. <laughs> I've got to take the bloody dog for a walk after. But there you go. Any road, folks, if we have anything else, I'll bring you back. Top in the morning. Are you ready to wait? Oh, there you are. I'll take a photo of it off the, off the camera at any road. Hang on. Down scissor this. There you go. That's the let go of the bag, Pete. Seven pound six. Nice fish, mate. Well done. Peter, going to release the fish now. There it is. It come in at seven pounds six. Very nice fish. Very nice. Well done, Peter. Nice female, that mate. Let it go now. Enjoy the water. Get back out there, mate. See if you can get another one. And there she goes. Back into the deep slab. Nice one, Peter. Well done, mate. Well done. And there we go. That's a thorn back. Seven pounds six. And we've had what what have we had between us? Uh, four four waiting. It's not bad. Not bad. This place can be awesome, Pete, can't it? It's and just that uh, hmm? bait's heading and squid. The bait was heading and squid. That got that. Fair dues. The old heading doing the job again, Pete. Yeah. So there you go, heading and squid. Very nice. Um, yeah, fair dues. Well done, Peter. Nice one. Uh, I'm only on the big small bit, so I was hoping for the place, but never mind. I'll be back. We got a. You said it's 11 o'clock, didn't you? Yeah, we're fishing till it starts pulling up the weeds. Well, as soon as I see that sand, we'll call it a day. We're fishing till the sand shows. That's what we've decided. Fishing till the sand shows. Uh, I'm really happy with that one. It's done. Pete's done the business again. Well done, Peter. Lovely way. It's nice to see him, isn't it? I did tell you, didn't I, that the 
red been showing like. The odd one's been caught. Bloody hell, it nearly took your rod, didn't it? Come to the It nearly took his rod, Pete was really lucky. There. But there you go. There you are folks. Hang on. Let's pull this one out a bit. So I'm level. That's it. That's better. There you go, folks. That's a ray we've showed you and all now. I'm chuffy and I'm glad you had that ray so I could show my customers that you know my public that at least we know how to catch bloody fish. <laughs> Yeah, nice nice place now. I'll go a long way, won't I? You know? It's one of them. It's one of them it is. But uh, well done Peter. You was way out there, weren't you? Yeah. Yeah. Get a big bait out there again, they're around, mate. Right? That's, is that the one you stood up for when it bounced? You see, what, what happens normally with the ray, Pete, you know, is like I said to you, they come they come over your bait, they hit your bait, yeah. and they lie on it. That's why when you have got to sit on your hands like you did, because they move backwards to get them out. You've all seen where the ray's mouth is underneath. They move backwards to the bait. They pick the bait up, and then they go to swim off, and that's when they pull... <laughs> That's when he pulled Pete's rod out the red rod rest and he only just bloody caught it and he, <laughs> he had to hold the other rod. They had to go and run to him. I pulled me bloody mic out and everything. But there you go. It, it happens, you know. It's part and parcel of the adrenaline. I forgot I had this attached to there. <laughs> and I run off. And I thought, where's my mic going? It was still on me. He was just flapping. So there you go, we we got a nice fish to show on site. I'm happy about that. Good size fish that too, wasn't it, mate? Yeah. Will do is a decent size it was a decent size ray that pal, to be honest. It was really nice size ray, you know. For a female, it's big for a female, that seven pounds. You get bigger, I know, like, but I've had double figure here, I have, like. My biggest here is £10 too, but, yeah. yeah. I knew I had that bugger on and on. I knew I had that on and on. You want to get that on Sea Angler? When I send you these pics? I'm pleased for you, honestly. It's nice. It's nice to know they're still here, you know. Gone short, so I'm going to pull in and go out a bit further, you know. In a bit, folks. Well, that's it, folks. End of another one. Yeah, uh, a ray, umpteen and one, white in money. Yeah. And a ray. Um, no sign of the flatties. Pete had the flatty on. His off, chocolate, chocolate was stuck with weeds, so we had to stop to unblock it. And as when he picked it back up, it come off. Obviously, it was a the tension that was keeping it on yeah. as soon as he took tension off relax gone and this is what I do see that's the rubbish from the day going home with me in the car now see putting it in the car and that'll go in my bin when I get home and, the other people's rubbish up was left and we've picked other people's rubbish up that was here and took, took it with me and I'll put it in my bin when I go home I hate people that litter there's no need for it you know we're lucky enough to be allowed to come here but if it carries on they'll stop it 
they'll stop it. Simple as. They'll do what they did. Remember years ago, they put that gate in there across the entrance, stopped you coming on. And the reason they stopped you coming on is, if you remember, they were building this at the time. The defence wall. See, you can see it. Hey, uh, tide's dropping down. Weeds back to play, so me and Pete said, enough's enough, didn't we, Pete? Yeah. So that's it now, so uh, I'll get home, I'll edit this, and uh, you've got a nice fish to see being landed any road. Specimen ray, so you got that to see when I get home. It'll be a good ray, that. It's nice. Peace out, that. Well done, Peter, again. And uh, we're going to head home now, so I'll let you go, and I'll see you next time. All the best, folks.